So I'm doing my gear list for the 2013 through hike that I will be doing. Uh, I'm leaving March 1st next year. I wish it was this year, but I don't have enough money for it yet. But uh, I figure why not do a gear list now. I have most of my gear. Um, it only took me like a month to save up for everything. I'm still kind of testing everything out though. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. But yeah, let's get started. So first, this is just a layout of everything. So, start off with the pack. It's the uh, Osprey Kestrel 38 pack. I went with the smaller pack because uh, I didn't want to go with a 65 or 58 or whatever because I figure if I have a smaller pack, I'll be a lot less tempted to uh, pack more stuff, which it's worked out pretty well because I think all my gear combined without food yet, I haven't calculated the food weight yet, but uh, I think I'm only up to like 15 pounds right now with the gear which is really good. Um, so yeah, this is the Osprey Kestrel 38 pack. It's nice, it came with a uh, came with a, a rain cover built into the pack, so that was really nice. So yeah, that's that. That's the pack. Um, I'll be using the sleeping bag I'm using. is a, It's a, a Kelty Lightyear 40 degree down bag. Um, and actually, I'm going to be getting a 20-degree uh, a down bag also. I'm just waiting to save up for that to start off when I start down in Georgia. Um, I'm going to be using the Neo Air, or Neo Air, the uh, Thermarest Ridge Rest. Uh, this is the small size. I think it's like 48 inches. I'm 6 feet tall, but uh, I don't mind it. I'm just worried about my upper body mostly being <laughs> being comfortable so it works out and it's really light so that's all for the sleep system and I'm gonna be using my I have a fleece over here which I'm gonna be using for my pillow basically um, my tent is gonna be a tarp uh, it's gonna be the black diamond beta mid tarp I could have went with the beta light but I got a really good deal on the beta mid and it's you know it's only like two pounds so I can spare it, it's no big deal. And uh, I'm gonna be, to save space in my pack, since I said I have a 38 pack, um, I'm gonna roll it up inside my my uh, sleeping pad and it works out really well. So it doesn't take up any room at all on my pack. So uh, yeah, so I have miscellaneous stuff sacks here. This is a dry sack I'm using for clothes. I actually just, since I don't use the stuff sack for the, the tent, I have another stuff sack. And then this is just like a 10 liter uh, REI stuff sack. Uh, my kitchen is going to be a 900 milliliter uh, Snow Peak cook cook set titanium with a uh, the Snow Peak titanium spork. Uh, I have the the MSR Isopro fuel four ounces, and my stove is going to be the the MSR Pocket Rocket, which I think comes up just over three ounces. So that's really nice. But uh, yeah, everything fits into the pot. My whole cook set fits right into the pot. So put that in here. And that's that. I have a rubber band. I'm going to get a more heavy duty rubber band than that. And then it fits right in this little mesh sack right here. And then I slip the, uh, the spork right in there with it too. Uh, I don't have my what do you call it, my toiletry kit yet, so like my uh, hand sanitizer, toilet paper and all that, but I will have that, just not yet. Uh, I have some miscellaneous stuff here, my med kit, uh, two millimeter cord, it's 50 feet of it. I have my Aquamira tablets, or uh, solution, and uh, my Petzl Tika 2, or Tika Plus 2 uh, headlamp which works out pretty well. It's pretty bright. I don't intend on doing a lot of night hiking, so it works out really well. Um, I have my, I have just a mini LED flashlight made by uh, Gerber. It's really nice, just for like a camp light. And then I have, I have an old school uh, fold up knife. So that's pretty cool. So uh, yeah, that's basically it for that kind of stuff. I have my clothes now. First off, I'm gonna be using the uh, the Salomon XA Pro 3D Ultra Gore-Tex shoes. They're trail running shoes. Real nice. I broke them in over the last couple weeks. I like them a lot. 
So as of right now, that's the shoe I'm going to be going with. Like I said, I still have a year, but uh, they seem to be a good fit right now. They're really comfy, real comfy. Uh, so yeah, let's do clothes now. The uh, I have sock liners, the Njinji uh, Performance Toe Sock Liners. I like them a lot. Um, just some, I, you know, a little system I've been trying out with the toe socks and whatnot. But uh, I wear the toe sock, and then I wear the actual hiking sock over them which I have smart wool um, smart wool light hiker socks and I have wigwam regular weight hiker socks uh, I've actually only worn the smart wool socks with the toe liner so far I'm yet to wear the the wigwam socks so that's gonna be my next my next thing I'm gonna do uh, I really liked the combination though of the toe socks and the hiker socks it worked out really well. I didn't get any blisters. I walked uh, 17 and a half miles in one day, uh, going from on the Appalachian Trail. I went from uh, Wind Gap to uh, the Delaware Water Gap, and that was all just you know rocks everywhere. If you've ever hiked that section before, and um, the toe socks worked out really well with the with the hiker socks. So I'm gonna go with that for now. Um, when it gets warmer, out, it's just midwinter right now. So when it gets warmer out, I'll try out other combinations and see where that leaves me but uh yeah so I got my shorts just some nice Under Armour running shorts super lightweight uh, my pants are the I believe these are the REI Safari pants they're 100 percent nylon really lightweight really comfortable too um, my fleece like I said this is just uh I just got I got it at Kohl's like a year ago um, but it's really warm and I like it a lot. It has the the cinches down here for your waist so the wind doesn't get through and it makes a nice pillow. <laughs> uh, my Outdoor Research beanie, which is nice. I got these <laughs> Under Armour gloves on clearance sale at the Under Armour outlet for 25 bucks. So those are real nice and warm. Um, I'm, I'll be shipping the gloves home, you know, once it warms up. So that's no big deal. The extra weight I can deal with at first. Um, I have this turtle fur neck guard, which I like a lot because I hate when the, the wind hits my neck. It makes me real cold, so that definitely helps out a lot. Uh, and like I, I'll be shipping that home too with the gloves and whatever other cold weather gear I have after uh, you know after it warms up after I get through I guess the Smokies because uh, I'm leaving March 1st, so I'm gonna need some cold weather gear. Um, this is my my EMS Eastern Mountain Sports uh, Techwick midweight base layers. This is the bottoms, you know, just rolled up, and these are the tops. They're real nice too. They're not too heavy, so you know, with the fleece and everything, it works out real well. Uh, this is my shirt. It's just a, a Russell Athletic uh, Dry Power T-shirt, 100% polyester. So that works out and really nice with wicking away the sweat. Just an extra pair of underwear and on to the rain gear. I have a Marmot Precip rain jacket, which is real nice, 100% factory seam taped, which is nice. They have the uh, the mesh liners on the pocket, so when it's warm out, if it's raining, you can you know open them up and allow some airflow through there. Also has uh, the pit zips too, which I like a lot. Right here. It's, it's, it's really lightweight and it compacts really well too so I can fit it in my pack. Uh, these are the rain pants, just the Columbia, I believe it's Columbia Thunderstorm rain pants. Uh, I'm yet to use them uh, since it's midwinter. I haven't used them yet but I read some reviews. People seem to like them. You know if I don't like them I have a lot of time to return them because I have a whole year. Um, yeah that's pretty much it. I mean, besides food, I, I'm still yet to get my food. Um, I'm just going to have, uh, you know, oatmeal and cliff bars and trail mix, so that kind of stuff. Nothing too crazy. I don't want to spend a lot of money on mountain house gear or mountain house food because <laughs> it's expensive. Um, I'm going to sub out a lot of beef jerky. I'm going to use a lot of pepperoni because it's cheaper, just like dry cured meats like that. Um, and yeah, Uncle Ben's ready rice is going to be good, ramen, those sort of things are going to be real nice for out on the trail. 
Um, see if I forgot anything. That seems to be pretty much it. So yeah, that's everything. So yeah, I'll be uh, posting up more videos. I have one video up right now. It's just that hike that I just told you about the from Wind Gap to uh, the Delaware Water Gap. But I'll be posting more videos up as we go along. So yeah, if you have any uh, comments or anything to say, just post it up. So uh, when I made the video before, I forgot to add some stuff that I actually still have. Uh, my water, I have two uh, smart water bottles. They're I mean, like, like 23, 23.7 fluid ounces. I have two of those that fit nicely into the side of my pack, uh, which I'll be using for water. And if I need to, I'll just get like a third one and put it up in the brain of my pack or whatever. Uh, and you can't have the tarp without the without the trekking poles. These were in my car. I forgot to get them. Um, they're just uh, stride Lake Tahoe trekking poles. I believe they're like a pound, uh, right around there. But uh, they're real nice. I got I got them for thirty five dollars on on sale on uh, CampMore.com. So they have really good deals, so I would check them out. Um, I have I'm gonna be putting most of my stuff in Ziploc bags. I still have to find bigger Ziploc bags like the the three gallon one so I can put my fleece in there and whatnot but overall they they work out really well and I forgot this my my AT guide so that's real nice really good thing to have I also have my uh, my maps um, I'm gonna have my maps uh, I have them ordered already I'm just waiting for them to come in and also, I'm recording on my cell phone right now, but I just ordered a uh, a, a Kodak uh, Playful uh, HD digital or HD video camera for like sixty dollars off of Amazon. So that was a really good pickup. So uh, yeah, but this is my my pack fully loaded, with the exception of food. I actually, like I said, I was gonna roll up my tarp to put like inside my my thermarest, but I decided not to. All right, well, I don't know if I'm not gonna do that or not, but if you can see in my pack, this is everything. My rain gear is on the outside in this mesh pocket, so that works out really well, so it doesn't take up any room inside my pack. Um, but, just open this real quick. You can see that inside here, this is my, this is my, uh, what do you call it? Uh, my tarp in there. And that's just a whole bunch of dead space in there right here. I mean, I can push this down even more and create more room in my pack. It's not really, it's not a compression stuff sack, but I can get one for it and make it even smaller. Then I have all this, I'll have a lot of room in here where I can still put all my food. And that's the only big thing that's I'm going to have to put in here. Like I can put my toiletry stuff in the brain of my pack because that really has nothing in it. Um, but yeah, for a 38 liter pack, this is really, really roomy. I like it a lot. So... I think I'm all set with everything, um, but yeah, like I said, I think I can put my my uh, tarp right inside there, so that's just so that'd be nice. But yeah, so this is the pack. It's really nice. I love this pack. I mean, it's not an ultralight pack or anything, but you know, I got it for under a hundred dollars because it's a 2011 model and they came out. They just came out the 2012, so they were getting they were getting these out of stock, so I picked one up for really cheap. So yeah, really light pack, like all, all overall with everything in it. Um, I'm just waiting for my maps to get here. Got to make my toiletry kit and get my food, uh, and then do a couple overnight hikes to, you know, get my weight down and you know my pack weight in check and make sure everything's good. But yeah, so that's everything.